working on the AC units on my 95 uh, wide body Wonder Lodge. These are the Dometic units. They're the original units, and I had never serviced them in the year that I've had the coach. This coach came out of Nebraska, and it was in a farming community, and there was a lot of dirt, obviously, in that area. And when I got into these, they were absolutely filled with mud dauber nests, wasp nests, um, just dirt. And so I started the process. I've never done this before, so I got on the old trusty YouTube and started looking at what some other folks had done and learned. But I want to get on here specifically for these Dometics on the older wide bodies. Uh, the first thing I did was obviously remove the covers. My covers look pretty haggard, so I prepped them all up and actually painted them. And then I went through and I removed the cover off the evaporator coil, which is up front. It's this metal cover right here. This thing has sheet metal screws in it. Um, it's pretty easy to get off, but it covers up the top there. I'll go through that in a second. But remove the sheet metal screws. I think there's about eight or ten of them, and then that exposes the evaporator coil. Now, on the evaporator coil, there are holes beneath it that go down into the coach. So what I did is stuffed rags down there, got it really tight, and I used this new Calgon evaporating foam. It says no rinse. I actually rinsed. I'll get to that in a second. This supposedly has an antimicrobial in it, but um, I used the brush that comes with the foaming cleaner that I used for the condenser in the back. This is the Frost King foaming cleaner. Walmart sells it, seven bucks a can. I bought two cans, more than enough. But it's got this cap on it. And the cap is equipped with these bris bristles on the ends of it. And it's great for going through first. And when I did this and just kept going back and forth, there was tons of stuff. Um, next thing I did was spray the uh, cleaner. So on the back, I did the uh, foaming cleaner. It's Frost King. Uh, spray it on there. It foams and it starts to expand. It actually pulls that stuff out. Now they say this is a no rinse, um, but these were filthy. I wanted to rinse them. So I had a brand new insecticide sprayer. I use in my business. Insecticides don't go through it. Only water. So pumped it up. I let that stuff soak for about five minutes and then I used the wand and just went through and rinsed. Um, I use a little more pressure than what I've got right now. I don't have it pumped up. Um, I actually did these yesterday, letting them dry out. Then I did the same thing up front. Up front, used the uh, evaporator cooler, or evaporator foam uh, rinse. Same thing, spray it. This is a no rinse, but again, these were filthy, so I wanted to rinse them. So after I got that done, I went through, started wiping out the units. I think uh, the biggest surprise was on the fins for the blowers. You can still see some dirt down there. I've already vacuumed it up. Those things were covered. And so I, I used that Sprayway glass cleaner that they sell at Costco. Love that stuff. Covered those, let it soak, and then got down there with uh, paper towels and just went fin to fin to fin and cleaned them off. And they were covered. So you have fins on the evaporator cooler. And then there's two sides to the uh, condenser. Went through and clean those both off. Um, up top on mine, I don't know if this is factory or not, there was foam sealant all along the top to seal the uh, condenser. And so that foam was falling apart. So Home Depot just bought some new foam. And uh, I've actually finished this one back here. You can see how I relined it with the, the new foam. I put the cap back on and then I use this foil tape from Home Depot and I sealed up all the edges that would leak um, to keep the uh, air going into the bus and not coming out the top. Over here is where your start capacitor. I tested all my start capacitors to make sure they were all doing well. They were and uh, so that one's ready to be fired up. The other thing that I found is on your drain up here that drains uh, all the uh, condensation off the uh, evaporator this down in here this edge was just packed with dirt so I took a uh, putty knife with a uh, rag on the end and just swiped it across and it pushed all the crud to the edges and cleaned that out so I've done two 
I'm on my third and final one. I can't finish this one today. I ordered a set of fin brushes off of Amazon. When I took this cover off, for some reason the front one, which is my least uh, efficient unit, it just was not working real well. Um, but it was also the dirtiest, but all the fins are collapsed on these corners. Well, not all of them, but you can see compared to, you know, over here. Uh, so I'm going to comb those all out. Usually I can do it with a, uh, just a small flathead screwdriver, but there's just too much damage there. So I'm going to wait on putting this one back together. Went in and vacuumed out the, uh, electrical compartment there. So excited to get these going if I can put off having to spend $4,500 on excuse me $3,500 on new units and get by with these for a few more years I'll be happy Home Depot sells a uh, brush to comb out the uh, fins this thing's worthless I tried it when I looked at it I thought it was worthless I confirmed it was worthless it's just too big and the fin blades on this brush, they're just not uh, organized or uniform fashion, so I think it end up doing more damage. But hopefully, uh, this helps you guys. These things are uh, always constant maintenance, but it's kind of the fun part about having them. Take care. This is the cover that goes over the evaporator coil on the front of the AC unit. Obviously, I have three of them. Uh, this is the top side. This is the underneath side. Underneath it used to have a bunch of fiberglass insulation that uh, does just that. Helps insulate it, but it was all falling down. So what I did is took a razor blade, scraped it all off, and then I used a uh, 3M adhesive. It's just what I had on, on site. Spray adhesive 80. And uh, I went to Home Depot and I bought some of this uh, double reflective insulation. It's a roll of it. It's 24 inches wide by 10 feet long. It's pretty thin. This has an R value of right about four. And uh, I use the uh, adhesive, put it on both sides, and then see if I can do this holding the phone. Sprayed both sides of the uh, insulation and the cover and uh, put it down right over the top of it sticks pretty good that one's already done you can see how uh it holds on grips pretty pretty darn good so i'll uh bring those back up to the top and then we'll put them back on